everybody, welcome to I'm Blushing YouTube channel. This is the very first video on I'm Blushing and I want to come on, say hi, I'm Renee. I have over 15 years of makeup artistry background and history and I truly believe that every woman can be beautiful and we all have to just embrace the real beauty that there is out there. I mean, there are filters, there are apps that make us look perfect, but in real life, we're not perfect and nobody is perfect. So I hope that from my channel, you'll be able to learn a little bit about just about feeling good about yourself and accentuating the positive. And we're definitely gonna be doing some makeup, which is super fun. And there's makeup for everyone. There's makeup for every day. There's new products that we wanna try. There's learning brushes. There's learning techniques. And, and that's what this whole channel is all about. So I hope that if you love this video and other videos, you subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends because that's what we're here for. I. You know, just think it's so important to embrace the beauty that we have and make the best of it and have fun. Seriously, I, I love doing makeup. I love doing makeup on myself. It's therapy for me. It's therapy for when I'm helping other women get their best look and feel their best and live their best life. So, you know what? Why don't we just get started and... We'll figure this thing out together. So I thought that I wanted to do something really natural today. I did get this really, I've been eyeing this up. And as much of a makeup junkie that I am, I don't feel like I have to go buy the new palette. I don't feel like I have to be like on super, super trend. That's just not really how I work. But sometimes the, the social media gets me and I find myself falling in love with something on a channel on like on an ad or something so I did want to try this new uh, Charlotte Tilbury cream shadow in the rose gold I tried a little bit on my hand um when I got it but guys I, I can't wait to try it so let's dig in and figure this out so I'm going to clip my hair up because I always clip my hair up when I do makeup um, I have a few tools here. Again, for me, it's not all about like what's the newest, what's the most expensive, what what person's using it. I, I the, to me like that's not important. To me, it's about real beauty, real life, looking good, feeling good, and so let's get started. I am gonna use a few different products. And I'm, I'll happily share them with you. So this is the Glow Scream from Supergoop. Um, living in Florida, I find that I need even more sunscreen every day. So I pop that on. It has a little glow to it. Not really as much as I think I saw in the ads. Again, that's another sucker ad. A sucker ad purchase I'm gonna just hydrate my under eyes with this guy this is a under eye primer just going in and hydrating under my eye and then let's get started I want to do a natural contour so I am going to use a contour stick and any contour stick will work but I do want to give myself a little bit of a natural contour so I'm just going to start by just feathering this on the skin and then using a damp beauty blender and buffing it in. Now, the reason why I'm doing this before I put any foundation on is because I really just want it to peek through. I don't want it to be overly contoured. I don't want to have like, I don't want to look like I'm going on a magazine. I'm just sharpening this guy right now. 
I don't need all of that stuff. I just want a little bit of shape. And some, just some real life. Again, I think just real beauty makes a lot of sense. I am not ever on a red carpet. <laughs> I am not ever in a photo shoot. I'm just real with my friends. And so we're getting that sculpting there. And you can layer it. And remember, this is going under. Our foundation so if it's a little strong okay cool all right I am going to go into I'm using the hourglass foundation going to feather that in mostly where I'm not contoured And then I am going to add some concealer so that when I go to blend it all in, this is the NARS concealer. When I go to blend it all in, wow, I missed that side. They all kind of stick to, they all just will fudge in together. Okay. And as you can see, I did not put the foundation product directly on the contour part. So when I go to buff it in, they're gonna to start to just merge together and not like cannibalize each other. I am gonna hit my lids. So as you can see, this is really taking the redness out of my skin. but I still have my contours in place. I'm just kind of blurring the lines here. And my neck tends to get a little red, so. All right, now what? It's time for powder. Okay, so I have some powders that I'm gonna just start with a lighter color powder here under my eye, the big fluffy brush. And then I'm gonna take that darker powder and I'm just gonna set everything everywhere else. There we go. Contoured foundation ready to just add on the next layer, which is, I know you're gonna think it's crazy because you said, hey, you just said you were gonna do natural. I am, but we're gonna do a little bit more contour, but we're gonna do it in powder form so that we can then blend that contour powder into our bronzer. So I'm gonna take, um, this cut palette and we're going to use the color cappuccino and we're just going to go over where we through the brush <laughs> we're just going to go over where we contoured 
underneath. Now the reason why I'm layering the contour in the powder and the, and the cream is because that's where it becomes more natural looking. And everything just starts to blend in a little bit better. So it's peeking through a little bit and it's coming up a little bit, like on the surface. So it's not overly powdery, but it's not deep, dark, creamy underneath. Sometimes I think we can get carried away with darker creams. Okay, so we're seeing that come through. I do wanna take just a smaller brush, same color, cappuccino, and just kind of accentuate where I did a little bit on my nose. Okay, so we don't have to put a ton of dark color on the nose because I think it shows up so much more and I think it looks the most unnatural on the nose um, in that sense. Also can do a little bit of shading around the lip. That's gonna help make our lips look bigger when we're done, cause it's gonna pull out that shape. All right, I'm gonna use a bronzer now. This bronzer is a matte bronzer. I've used it and you'll be able to tell just about a gazillion times. And I use a dome bronzer brush to just then go above that contour. Cause then that'll be another layer for the cheek. And I like to just make sure I have a little bit of continuity between my neck and my chin, my jawline, so I don't just have makeup and then nothing. I'm not really, for every day, I'm not gonna do makeup here, cause that's to me just a little too much. Um, but hey, I mean, you could if you want to. I don't really think there's a lot of rules when it comes to makeup, um, for real, real. All right, brows. Now I've been using this Color Science palette and the darker color here, I don't think it has a name. Nope. But it's kind of like a, has a gray undertone to it, which I really like for, really, really like for brows because I don't like warm eyebrows. I don't think brows should have any warm tones in them like goldens or, or reds. So I love using a little bit more of a cool undertone. So when I do brows, I use this little brush that I got about 15 years ago when I started doing makeup. And it is by far the most flawless brush. I not really into a ton of overly drawn brow trends. I don't believe in cutting out your eyebrows with concealer. I just don't. But when you use a brow brush, I do recommend that it is stiff and thin. So now we have some eyebrows. I don't know why I do <laughs> contour, then bronzer, and then eyebrows, and now I'm gonna go into blush, but that's just kind of what I'm doing. Now, because this look, I really wanna focus on that new eye, I am gonna do a more neutral blush, which is this guy here, 
from NYX. It's called Mauve Me. Now, the only problem I find with this is that this side is really shimmery. Um, so I try to actually avoid that when I'm getting the product out. Um, reason being is because I just want the color. I don't need the extra light shimmer. So I'm just going to build my blush this way, kind of stack it on top of that bronzer. And I'm going to put a little bit back into my temple. Now, as you can see, you definitely see the color coming through. So it's like contour, deep, bronzer, blush. Now I'm doing my blush in a linear fashion because I have a fuller face. So I have a lot of surface area here, so I can go to town in this way. If you are a more narrow face, you wanna keep it closer that way. So I am gonna take one of my favorite highlighters, this is like an iridescent, I don't know if you can even see that. Oh wait, let me just play with the light a little bit. See how it just kind of picks the light up? I love this highlighter. So I'm going to just bring the light into my skin. Now you definitely can see it with this big fan brush. And then take that down the center of my nose. I know, I'm making you wait, and that's okay, because I'm actually gonna do my lips next. I had some color on there. Now, when it comes to lining lips, I know that it's a big trend to overline and make you look like you have fake lips and all of this stuff, but again, I'm beauty for real life, like that's just not me, and I've tried those trends just for fun. Oh, excuse me. I want to take that I've tried those trends and they're a little too much for me it's just not my style so I like the real stuff the reason why we highlighted that area of the lip is because it helps to accentuate the line. If you're gonna line, at least let the line shine. All right, we've got the liner and then I love these NYX lingerie color. This one is baby doll. It's like a soft pink. It's such a pretty nude. I love it. Okay. They're like a liquid lipstick, so they dry down just a little bit. So we're gonna give that just a second to dry. And then let's get into, finally, you're like, finally. <laughs> let's get into the Charlotte Tilbury Rose Gold. Oh my gosh. It's super moussey, like not dry at all. And you can see it's just stunning. So I did put some of that um, concealer on my lids and I'm gonna just find the perfect brush to apply this. Now I want it to be a fluffy brush because I'm gonna buff it. So I'm gonna use this brush. Let me grab. Ooh. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop a little bit on my lid. Okay. 
and I'm going to just blend it up. Let me see if I can layer it. Because that is pretty. Let me see if I can scoot in a little bit. Can you see that? Oh, this is like super, super pretty. Problem though is if you get with a big brush, you have to be careful about getting too close to your nose. That's pretty. You have to be careful about getting too close to your nose because It'll get a big like gloop, gloop, gloop. Is that a word? I don't, who knows? Is it? Can it be? Can we make it a word? I would like to make it a word. Okay. So, oh, there we go. Oh my gosh. I love this. I have to, I hope it doesn't crease like all day. All right. So I'm buffing it out very lightly. up. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Okay, so now I'm going to just try, because I don't know, I haven't used this before. I'm going to try a flat brush. Okay, I'm getting a little bit more. So if I want it stronger on my lid. Oh, but then it's like really wet. Okay, maybe it'll dry. Oh, that's so pretty. Can we do it under? Okay, we get a little bit going on underneath. Okay, so I adore that. That's really cool. Okay, I'm gonna let it dry a little bit because I do wanna add a little bit of a crease in there. So I'm gonna let it dry. And while I'm letting it dry, I wanna get a little shimmer action in there. Now this is just like a loose shimmer shadow. And so I put it on my hand first. And I'm gonna use a fluffy brush. See how that gives me a little pop? Okay, so five years ago, I would have been the girl who was like, I only use black eyeliner. But more so recently, I've really gotten into I've really gotten into brown eyeliner. So I'm gonna do that brown eyeliner with this look. And let me pull that out. So I'm gonna do brown eyeliner and we're gonna do black mascara. Brown eyeliner, black mascara. Let's see. Get my little cup out here. There we go. And then I'll show you how we finish the lip. Oh, I'm liking this eyeshadow. Like, I think it really looks good. Okay, I'm going to take the same contour palette and I'm going to use a fluffy brush. Fluffy is for soft. Like if you want just the littlest bit of color, the littlest like tickle. So I'm gonna use the same color I actually contoured with. And we're just gonna shape that eye just a little bit. Okay. 
why yes it adds some shape i love it okay brown pencil i'm gonna go under my lashes and just color them in And then I'm just gonna tickle a little bit on the bottom lash line, not inside the eye. Oh, there's a little hair there. There it is. Really coming together. You know what? I'm gonna be gonna take the same brush that I used on the eyeshadow. I'm buffing it across the lip. Holy moly, that's awesome. Yes, please. I'll take that. I love that. Okay. Then wrap it all up with a little mascara. Now I've been around the block. I've used them all and there is nothing like these two. L'Oreal Voluminous in the primer and the carbon black. So they're backwards and upside down. Okay. Perfect. So I'm just gonna prime my lashes. I'm gonna go up and then I'm gonna roll down. Yes, please, because that's amazing. Wow. You can see, I mean, hello, look at those. Look at that. I love it. Okay, letting that set just for a minute, I'm gonna do a little bit of gloss. Guys, the secret to gloss. <laughs> Seriously, I've been obsessed with, and see how I've worn this down. This is the Black Radiance Lip Gloss. I cannot find the color, but I will. I will. Hopefully you can add that to the description and I'm dead. It is perfect. All right. Oops. I got a little mascara on my lid with my new perfect eyeshadow cream. What in the heck? All right. So when you do that, don't panic. Don't panic. Don't touch it, don't panic, don't do it. Because we're gonna come back and I'll show you how to fix it. Guys, I'm obsessed with this look. My next five looks, <laughs> my next five videos will be the same video repeated over and over again because I'm obsessed with this look. Oh my gosh. Why is this so pretty? I love it. Good makeup does not have to take forever. It doesn't, it just doesn't. We have been hanging out, doing a full face that looks stunning. It's clean, it's real life, it's contour, we highlighted. We have beautiful, beautiful finished eyes, a polished lip because we lined it. Lining your lip actually gives you a little bit more polished look. We played with light, we played with color. Now we shake our hair out because isn't that what we do after, you know what we do after we like our makeup? we get our makeup done we're like I look in the mirror and then I play with my hair I'm gonna put earrings in because I think it matters so I've got these cute little earrings my niece goes those are cute <laughs> those are cute 
Like, how do you, where do they come up with this stuff? Those are cute. Super wearable. You could definitely wear this as like a really polished day look. Um, perfect for date night. It has a little bit of flirtiness to it. The light reflects off the skin. The lips look really pretty. I mean, obsessed. And there's never, ever, ever going to be a time where really clean skin, a lot of lashes, and just really great neutrals are, it's always going to be on trend. So if you love this video, please be sure to subscribe, share with your friends. I'd love to just share some of my knowledge with everyone. A little bit of the whys I hope that we explained on the video and that you can feel really confident about actually being the best you and not having to feel like everybody else. So if you love this video, please, please subscribe. I'd love to see you back. I'd love your feedback. Send some comments, please. And I hope to see you soon. Thanks guys.